Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to send messages in WhatsApp using Python. So you can send a message to anyone you want at any time you want. So let's get started. So we'll continue with this tutorial in a second. I want to thank Medium for sponsoring this video. Medium is a platform where you can find thousands of Python tutorials, data science guides, and more. You can get unlimited access to every guide on Medium for $5 a month using the link in the description. Okay, the first method to send messages in WhatsApp using Python is using a library named PyWhatKit. This library allows us to easily send messages uh, in WhatsApp. So, First, what I'm going to do is open a terminal. I'm here on PyCharm and I'm going to write pip install pywhatkit. So this is the name of the library. And keep in mind that I'm installing this in a virtual environment. And I highly recommend you to install it in a virtual environment because this library has a lot of dependencies so you want to avoid some conflict so install it in a virtual environment so i'm gonna hit enter and now it's gonna install so in my case i have this library already installed so i have the message requirement already satisfied but probably it's gonna take some seconds or even a minute for you to install this library all right now that we have the library installed i'm gonna close up the terminal and I'm going to import this library. So I'm going to write import pywhatkit and to send a message, I write pywhatkit.sendwhatmsg. And inside, I'm going to use this parameter. So the first one is the phone number, as you can see here. The second one is the message. The third one is the time in hours. And the fourth one is the time in minutes. So for the phone number, I'm going to write the phone number with the country code. So we write plus the country code. For example, in America, I think it's plus one. And then any number you want. The second one is the message you want to send and I'm going to write just test then the time in hours so here I write the time uh, I think here is 7 17 in the morning so I'm going to write here 7 in hours and then in minutes I'm going to write 7 21 now in the phone number I'm not going to write the phone number I'm going to hide it because I don't want to get any message so here I'm going to define a variable just for the sake of this video, which is named phone number. Now I write input and here I write enter phone number. So every time I run this script, it's going to ask me for the phone number and I'm going to write it. So here I'm going to delete this and I'm going to just copy and paste it. You don't need to define this variable. You can write the phone number here. All right, before running this script, keep in mind that in the browser that you use, you need to log into WhatsApp manually. So go ahead and go to your browser, Google Chrome or Safari, and log into WhatsApp using the QR uh, code before we run this code. So I already did this and I'm just going to run this code and try it out. So I'm going to check 719 is now. So I want to get the results faster. So I'm going to put 720. So now I run this and I wait a couple of seconds. But first I need to introduce the phone number and I paste the number and it says in four seconds, WhatsApp will open and after 15 seconds, it will deliver your message. So now WhatsApp's opening. Now uh, it wrote my message as you can see below on the bottom of the screen. So now let's wait 15 seconds and it's going to send the message. So as you can see here, it just sent the message, which is test, and it did it just without any problem. Now I'm going back to PyCharm and I close this one and I'm going to show you different things you can do with this library. Okay, you can add more parameters to this method and you can even close the window that was open. So before we open this WhatsApp window, but as you can see, the window is still there. So we can add a parameter in the method to indicate that we want the window to close after we send the message. So to do that, we only, uh, I'm going to copy and paste this one and we need to add two or three more parameters. 
First is the wait time. As you can see here, the wait time is by default 15. So I'm just gonna leave it 15. So this is our, this is the seconds that you have to wait before the, the message is delivered. So I'm gonna leave it as 15 seconds. This is not so important, but now we see this one tab underscore close. So this indicates whether we want to close the windows or not. So this is by default set to false and we're gonna set it equal to true. So I write true. And finally, we have close time. So these are the number of seconds that we're gonna wait until the tab is closed. So I'm gonna set this to two seconds. And basically what we're saying here is that we want the tab to close after the message is delivered and we're gonna wait only two seconds. So let's run this code first. I'm gonna just change the time because it's not 721 anymore, but I'm gonna set it to 725 and now run. So it pays the number and it says, in 18 seconds, WhatsApp will open and after 15 seconds, the message will be delivered. So 15 seconds here is the same what we set here. This is the default, but we could change it. But that's not important for what we're doing right now. So here, another WhatsApp window was opened and it says here again, test, as you can see here. And now let's wait 15 seconds for the message to be delivered. So just a couple of seconds more and here it's test and that window or the tab was closed as you can see. Great, so what I showed you so far is how to send messages to contacts. So we can also send messages to groups. So now let me show you how to do it. So to send messages to a group that you're part of, we only need to get the ID. So every group in WhatsApp has an ID and you can get the ID by going to any group you want and choosing the group info section. Then you have to tap on the invite via link option and copy that link. I already have the link of the group I'm gonna use for this video. And if you didn't get it, I'm gonna leave a guide that you can use to get the ID of the group you want to test. So here, I'm gonna define first um, a variable like we did before in phone number, but in this case, I'm gonna set this group underscore ID. So enter group ID, and this is not necessary, it's just for the sake of this video. But now we're gonna use pi what kit, and here to send a messages to a group, we have to use send, I think it's this one, send what, msg underscore two underscore group. So now the parameters are similar, but instead of phone number, uh, we have to use the ID of the group. So here I'm gonna set write ID. Then the second is gonna be the message. So test group. Uh, the third one is the time. So in my case seven, because it's seven in the morning and the uh, time in minutes. I'm gonna set it to 31. So here it's basically the same, just uh, the only thing that changes is the ID. So now I copy group ID and I paste it here. So now we can test this out. So I right click and run this one and now it's gonna ask my, well, my phone number because I didn't comment this out. So just give me a second, I comment this out. And now I'm gonna run this again and it's asking my the group ID. I just paste the group ID. I press enter and now it says in 49 seconds, the message uh, WhatsApp will open and then the message will be delivered. Now I'm gonna cut the video and I'm gonna come back when the automation starts. So now it's working and it found the name of the group. And now let's wait for the message to be type below on the on the bottom. And as you can see, it says test group and the test group message was delivered to this group. Great, we just learned how to send messages in WhatsApp to contacts and to groups using PyWhatKit. This library is really useful, but it's not my favorite because it has a lot of dependencies. So if you check here, uh, pip list, you're gonna see that this library has a lot of dependencies that it installed. So when you set 
when you wrote a uh, pip install pywatkit. So that's why this is not my favorite option. And sometimes this library doesn't work properly. So in case the library doesn't work or you don't want to have so many dependencies, I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can see another way to send messages on WhatsApp using Python. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this. That's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.